Hello YouTube, Conduct165 here. Now instead of talking about the Thomas and Friends train, today we will be talking about the big jigs, Stevenson's Rocket. I will not be talking about the history of this engine, however I will be going over a review on this toy and how many stars I'd rate it out of 5. So it does come with a little bit of track. I don't have it with me now, but we're going to be talking about this. So first off, we'll talk about the boring part, the tender. So the tender illust is illustrated very nicely, you can see it's got the nice square detail on the side. I don't like how the printing doesn't line up amazingly, however you need to take into consideration this is a kid's toy, it's not exactly a modeler's toy. So some of the printings will not be straight, will not be in line or anything like that, as my point is proven. However, the fact that they went to the effort to make this is quite nice, and the fact that they got a lot of it quite correct as well. You got the coal there, and this would have contained the water, I believe. I quite like it. And under there is Big Jigs. Big Jigs Rail, and a website there too. Made in Indonesia. Hmm, interesting. So yeah, quite a plain little tender, but now we get to talk about the main attraction, the actual locomotive and the pistons too. Now, the pistons are not connected. The wheel is a free rolling reel, wheel. Couldn't get that out then. However, you'll notice that the top of the funnel's moving a lot, and that's because it's held in by elastic. Now, this is not a feature that's intended to be played with, it's so it can fit in the packaging. However, when it's out, if I tilt the camera back, that's quite tall. And I've got here a Wooden Railway Thomas, which is in the choice of, of which I review next. And as you can see, that's quite tall. So yeah, um, the funnel makes it quite a unique engine. You can see there, it's got the ever fabulous word rocket. And also, they got the boiler quite right as well, along with uh, m most of the detail too. Even to um, little details to the side as well. The piston is done quite nicely as well. I like that. It has no front coupling, sadly. However, it's still a nice little toy. And the fact that they've even given it one big yellow wheel as well. I like that a lot. And underneath, sadly, there is nothing apart from where the string is knotted. Due to the fact that this is not a motorised engine, I will not be doing a video of it running. However, I hope you guys have enjoyed my review, and price concerned, I think I paid £12 for this. Now, I don't have much wooden railway, but I've got enough to make a decent track. And for what you get, you get buffers, you get a small piece of track, you get the engine as well, that's different. When money's concerned, I'll give it a 4 out of 5, 4.5 stars out of 5. And where the whole thing's concerned, I'd give it a good 8 out of 10. I think it is a nice little toy for kids, and even if your kids want to learn about the rocket, why not give them a cheap toy that can teach them about it? So yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed my opinion on this, and I'll see you in the next one. The YouTube shorts, which say which one I'm going to review next, are already up, so go check them out now. Bye!